If you are like me, you probably use the line element all the time. It's a nice graphic design element and it also creates separation within your layout design. What you may not be aware of is that apart from the regular line that we get, we also have two other styles, one for text and one for icon. Access that with the toolbar options all the way to the left and from the style area, you have the text and next to that the icon. This is very simple. To select the text, you just highlight the text and type in your text. And then you have the usual settings that you can play around with, like color for the text, line, and even add a shadow. All the other functions, like the size of the line, remains, and you can change the height of the line as well. The same goes for icons. Select the icon, and as you are used to the icon, you simply change out the icon. Let's put in a heart for something special. And note that under the icon area, we have a lot of other features as well. We can align the icon to the left, to the right, to the center, and we have settings for the size of the icon independently from that of the line, as well as the spacing, padding, and rotating even of the icon if you wanted that so. Having looked at that, let's go back to the line and put it back on text and have a look at the text functionality as well. Again, just like with the icon, you can put the text on the left or on the right or center it in the middle and add spacing between the line and the text. Go ahead and spice up your design a little bit for your next web page. For more tutorials like this here on Brizzy, make sure you have subscribed and also visit us at brizzy.io.